What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're just going to be going over some quick hacks, tips and tricks for Studio One. Um, this video is coming from, I get, uh, you know I've got a bunch of videos out and I get a lot of comments um, and I'm noticing that as I um, as I get more subscribers and, and my videos get more views, like there's this new group of people who haven't maybe... Um, been familiar with some of my older stuff um so the, this is all stuff I've, I've been over in different videos but i kind of want to consolidate them uh consolidate them just make a new version um first thing that i get is a, a lot of people when they see me work they want to know um how is it that i'm doing um that i do my hi-hats uh so quick you know any anytime anytime somebody sees a video of me they're like how are you guys you know what is it, shortcuts or whatever and um the first thing is um you know when you see me do stuff like this let me turn this tempo up You know, and you see me kind of co go through real quick, and I'm just and I'm just really moving through everything. And you notice that I'm just I'm using all key commands. And um, the thing about that, if you want to if you want to be able to to do that, first you have to have the uh, brand new the the most up-to-date version of studio one right and then what you got to get familiar with is you have to go to general and keyboard shortcuts and there's a couple of shortcuts you got to set up uh, the first one the one that chops the keyboard shortcuts is split at grid and then you just have to assign um, you know enter whatever key you want to set it to I use my number pad I use the plus number and then you want to go and set up quantize and you'll see here, um, quantize. You you have the um, the note durations. Um, you know, from one note to a sixty-four note. So I've set those up from numbers. You know, one, two, three, four, five, and then um, you can switch back and forth between straight and triplet. So I've set that up uh, for eight and nine. So all I have to do is you know use my keypad to to change. Like here, if you look here, all I have to do. Is use my keypad to change the durations of which uh, of what I want it to be, and then I go back and forth between eight and nine, select one, press pl uh, you know press uh, press the plus key, and and there you have it. So real easy stuff right there. Um, another thing. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me about is, um, you know, does, does, uh, FL studio or does, um, studio one offer something like fruity loops so the, where I could see the notes in the background, you know, because I can't produce unless I could see the notes in the background. So, um, yeah, they do. It's, uh, it's, it's really easy to get. All you got to do is create, um, you know, a MIDI pattern. Also, people want to know how I duplicate really fast. I press D. Um, so all you got to do is create a chord progression. Or, or, you know, not even a chord progression. You can create anything, right? So you got this, you got this melody in the background. And you want to know how you know you want to be able to create something new on top of it. Um, also, quick tip: if you want to add um, another VST, or uh, like like you would in FL Studio, like Clone Chain, all you have to do is hold down Alt and click and drag it down. You see where it says Duplicate Track? Boom! Now I've got another instance of Nexus. I can take this out. Oops. I can go ahead and get rid of this, but I want to see this other track behind, you know, this other track. So um, all you got to do is, you know, this button right here, guys, 
track list. Boom, it shows you the track list. Now, if I want to see that other Nexus track, all I have to do is click here to show it, right? And make sure that this pencil is not clicked. If the pencil is clicked, you're going to be able to, like, if you draw on one region, it'll copy to the second. If the pencil isn't clicked, now you've got your ghost notes. So now I can go ahead and switch this, um, switch this to, uh, you know, a different, a, a different, um, instrument and just go ahead and start, you know, writing, you know, writing my parts. All right, so now, so now I'm safe. I know what notes I'm using. I got my little crutch. All right, so that's easy stuff to do right there. Um, and all you got to do to get to that view is just put this right here. Another thing a lot of people ask me is there, um, this is a problem the studio one hasn't, has, hasn't figured out yet. Um, uh, but like, say you create, uh, you know, you create a drum pattern and I don't think it's going to do it here, but it's always possible, but, but sometimes you'll create a drum pattern and these, uh, your hits will have like a delay on them. And that's, th that's an error. Um, all you gotta do is go here, click remove track and instrument and reload it. And the next track that you, that you reload, that shit won't happen. Really easy fix. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know why you guys get so fucking freaked out by that. It's it's really simple to fix that. Um, let's see. What else do people ask about? Another thing that people want to know is um, what's a what's an easy way to find the key of an 808 in Studio One. You know, everybody. You know, every, everybody wants that one. Um, so just go ahead and you know, program whatever 808 you have on, you know, on middle C. Press, uh, go to the track, go to the tuner, right? And you'll see that that note, that uh, th this one right here on, you know, when you hit it on middle C, it's coming up, it's G sharp. So you just go ahead and change your root note here to G sharp. And now you can go ahead and work safely within the confines of the piano roll. And now C will be a C. And A will be an A. You don't have to worry about being out of key with your 808s. Easy stuff, right? Um, a lot of people hit me up and they're like, yo, I can't. When I play my drums, it doesn't play the whole drum. How do I change that? This is the release for your amplitude. You guys need to read a little bit more about, you know, ADSR and the controls on these are basic controls on VSTs. You should know how these work. Um, so the release will let the whole sample ring out. If 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 it's a short release, it's only going to let uh, what you draw. Okay, so you got to have that out. Also, you want to set your 808s to monophonic. That way, they don't play over each other. Um, what else do people want to know? People want to know how do we get how do we get a glide like FL Studio? The simple one sucks. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, you know, you don't have glide notes in, uh, 
in sample one, but if you just set your pitch band range to 12, all right? And go ahead and draw yourself in uh, in where the pitch bend ranges. You can draw whatever slide you want. Easy. Um, what else do people always ask me about? Um, people, pe uh, uh, people, uh, a lot of times they want to know about uh, chord helpers and chord stamps. There's nothing like that in Studio One. Um, what they do have is scales, and you just go ahead and click this button right here and select the scale, and it will it will only let you click notes that are that are within the confines of the scale. So you'll never so you could just so you could go ahead and draw completely random, and you will only have stuff that's in the scale. So, you know, you could just be completely random and you never have to worry about being out of key, which is uh, um, a lot easier, I think, than dealing with than dealing with um, chord stamps and things like that. Um, another thing people want to know uh, once once they get once they get my template and uh, this is uh, this is this is just that technology anxiety that you guys got to beat. But um I get a lot of questions of what if I want to, you know, what if I want to use, uh, you know, what if I want to use audio tracks or what if I want to sample or what if I want to do something other than the template, you know, is, is the world going to end if I don't use, if I don't, uh, you know, use VSTs and here's the deal, this template, it's just, it's just something that I used to get started. You can take all of these tracks, remove the tracks and instruments. And if you guys haven't seen the template video, definitely go and watch it. Um, you'll still have you'll still have your, you know, your effects routing in place. You'll still have your filter um, uh, routing in place and your drum and band routing in place. But this this filter, like for example, this filter bypass doesn't have to be a filter bypass. You can change this to vocals, right? And the way the way that the routing is set up is the vocals are going to be on top of the filter so 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 if you go ahead and you run effects over top of the beat um and then you route all your vocals to this bus then you know you're not going to have a situation where your vocals are being affected by you know a whole bunch of glitch effects or or, or the drake underwater effect and stuff like that and then you can go ahead and um and grab um grab a bunch of files let me see let me see let me see what can i do um can i show you guys here so like for example you could get these you could like you could take these these uh these stems right here right from a track all right so say these are stems from a track and say these are the say these are the drum stems right all you got to do is click them is click them uh red say these are the band stems you know these are instruments i'll make these blue and then say these are all the vocals all right i'll make these yellow and <clears throat> once you have once you have that in place now it makes it easier to route it because I know that I could just hold hold down shift, select all select all these, and then I know that these are going to the drum bus, all right? And then I know that these are going to the band bus. Yep. And I know that the yellow is going to the vocal bus. So I just send that to the vocal bus and then boom, all your stuff is already perfectly routed. You know, you go at you you're ready to use your send tracks and everything like that. 
So um yeah, these are just these are just some repeated questions that have been coming up in the comments a lot lately uh, that I've been getting emailed about and just want to make a short video show you guys some things that will hopefully make your experience in Studio One a lot easier. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials.com. If you haven't been by to pick up arrangement arsenal you are playing with yourself, why do you not want to make beats fast? Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next.